Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, the goal is to prove whether or not black can castle in this position. This type of puzzle is known as a retrograde analysis puzzle. It's an intersection between logic and chess where the goal is to prove something about the position. It's pretty fancy, so if you want to stick around, please do. And while you're sticking around, please subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Okay, so how am I going to prove that black can't castle in this position. Doesn't that seem pretty wild? Well, it is, but if you take a couple of logical steps, you'll be able to understand how to get there. So bear with me. Okay, first thought. If black can't castle, that means that black's king or black's rook must have already moved, right? That's how the rules of chess work. So if this king ever got out and then came back, it's not able to castle. So if you could just prove that this king moved, you would be good. You'd be able to show that black cannot castle. Okay, let's just take note of the pieces for white. White has seven pawns, and then they have three rooks. So what does that mean? Well, that means that one of those pawns, particularly the eighth pawn, promoted to a rook, or else it would not have three rooks. And they have both minors for bishops and knights, and their king and queen are still around. So white has 16 pieces on board. What does that mean? That means that black never captured any of white's pieces or pawns, right? You'd agree with me there, hopefully. Okay, so here's the central idea of this puzzle, and I'm gonna go kind of quick through it, but I think it will make sense, and it's, it can get deep, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and have all this amazing community answer. So I need to show that all these pawns can be configured in this way with the king standing on e8 and the rook standing here on a8. How do I do that? So let's just think about how many captures are possible to make this type of configuration. So let's say, for example, that the h pawn was the one that promoted. And we'll say that because it's the one that's farthest away. That way I can save as many moves as possible. So if this g pawn, let's just say this g pawn ended up becoming this D pawn, that would take one, two, three captures, right? And if this F pawn ended up becoming this C pawn, that would also take one, two, three captures, right? So at the very minimum, I can have six possible captures that can lead to this type of position, right? The A pawn would just run up the board, the B pawn runs up the board, C pawn runs up the board, same for the D pawn and the E pawn, and then the F pawn captures in this nice way like I just showed with the arrows one two three and same with this g-pawn and you have this configuration so there are six possible captures there nothing wrong with that right well let's ask ourselves is it possible to have that six capture idea in this position well if you look at black's little army here they're missing how many pieces one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. They're missing eight pieces. So you might say, okay, well, I'm capturing six times, at least. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? Well, let me ask you a question. This bishop that was here on c8, it can't escape. So we have to remove that from the calculations, right? And the answer to that question is yes, we have to remove it. This bishop can never get out, so I can't capture it as one of these captures. So that gets eliminated. This queen has the same idea, right? This queen can't get out. How am I getting out with this queen? I can't get out. So that means I don't count it because I'll never be able to capture it with the pawns, right? The pawns need to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, that means I need six captures. These two are out. So that leaves me with the knight that was here, the bishop that was here, the knight that was here, the rook that was here, and the two pawns. Okay, but here's the question. How could I possibly capture in this leftward direction this h-pawn? I can't, right? There's nothing this pawn can do to get to a place over here. That's not how it works. If black's pawn ever had to come this way, it would be because of a capture. But we established in the beginning that white has all of their pieces, which means black did not capture anything that white had. So what am I saying then? That means that the h-pawn is out. Well, okay, well, hold on. Now I have five capturable pieces. I have the three, 
on the king's side here, on, on this bishop, knight, and rook. I have this knight that can hop out and get captured. And I have this g-pawn. Okay. Well, wait a second. That doesn't make sense because I have six captures to make this position. And I only have five capturable pieces. That means the king must have run out and let more pieces into the action, like the queen, for example. That would give me six. So, you just proved that in order to get six capturable pieces, you need to include something like this queen, which means the king must have moved, and because the king must have moved, black cannot castle. Hopefully that string of logic makes sense to you. It's kind of fun to think about. You can figure out these pawns in a different way. I just showed this one with the six going up, or the five going up, like this, one, two, three, four, five. You could think about it a little differently if you want. You could even mathematically break it down, which is another way to do it, but it's a little complicated and I wasn't sure it'd be fun for the audience. But try messing with the position. Try to see if you can make this position on your own. It's kind of fun. And when you try it, you'll see that you're kind of missing captures. So hopefully you'll be able to see why it's impossible. So the conclusion is black cannot castle because there are not enough captures on the board to lead to this nice configuration of seven pawns. Awesome. Well, that is it for this video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe. I put new videos out all the time. If you like these retrograde puzzles, let me know. I'll make more of them. They're really fun for me, but I'm not so sure if anybody else enjoys them other than I do, other than I. So thanks so much. Bye.